El cineasta francés Jean González inauguró el Festival de Cine Distrital con su primer largometraje, Los Encuentros Después de Medianoche. To me it's a story of uh, seven people uh, healing their, their wounds during one night. Uh, it's starting like an orgy, but uh, it's becoming little by little. Uh, it's a story of a friendship. Uh, a friendship that doesn't uh, last long, but to me it's, it's, uh, which is going to stay very long in the mind and in the, in the heart of the people who live it. I think, I think there's a big thing, the main thing that connects with the character is their loneliness. Uh, so, so, so trying to, 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 to connect with everybody in, in a kind of friend. En la pareja central de la historia, Matías, Matías ha muerto y resucitado gracias al amor de Ali. Y bajo una especie de conjuro, Matías vivirá solo mientras sí. ella mantenga su deseo vivo. I think it's always the same thing with a, with a couple. Uh, you, you have, uh, when you meet somebody, you have a lot of desire, you have a lot of sex appeal. And little by little, this desire is uh, turning into something different, into a, into friendship, into a, a camaraderie uh, in, a, in, a, in a way. And uh, so it's it's quite a, um, a simple story. It's a story of uh, all the couple. And, uh, but Matthias and Ali, in the films, are trying to turn the, the loss of desire into something uh, very helpful and very uh, very warm. Uh, um, So I think it's a bit weird to understand because they choose to uh, to sleep with other people to keep this desire intense in a way. And one character is happy with the situation and the other character is not. And he's dying little by little because he can't uh, he can't stand this, uh, this situation. I, th I think everybody can uh, identify to, to, to sex. Everybody has a story with, uh, with, with uh, sex, with sex encounters. And with the night, I think the night is always filled with, uh, with ghosts, with fantasies, with, uh, with nightmares. And to me, it's a very cinematic uh, period of time. I mean, uh, to me, it's more inspiring than, uh, than daylight. Because, uh, because when you're in a screening room, uh, uh, everything is dark. So it, it's, it's like when you're making a film, it's like creating some ghosts and creating some monsters from the night and from, uh, from the sex too. So yeah, I, th I think these are two big topics that everybody can relate to. I'm not certain to know better than you know. It's like if I had to write a solitary path. Comme si j'étais porté par une présence que je ne saurais définir, mais qui ressemblerait à la nuit, ses rencontres et à ses habitants. Ça fait deux mois que j'ai quitté le lycée. Mais dans les verres des ivrognes, j'apprends. Et dans la rage des couteaux, j'apprends. Puis il y a le sexe. Um... I think the main uh, thing about this film is um, the tenderness. I really wanted the, the people who watch the film to remember this tenderness of my, of my characters, of the story, of the music. I wanted to, to create something very smooth and something that makes you better at the, at the end. Uh, I made some short films before and all my short films were really pessimistic. And I really wanted to, to, uh, to end this film with something, with a joyous note, with something very optimistic, very shiny. Um, so it's a, something very, with a big light, with a big sun, and to me it was really, really important to, uh, to finish with, uh, with the idea of, uh, of hope. El tono de los temas que González aborda y el trabajo recurrente con actores como Julie Bremont y la musa del director Kate Morgan han marcado una línea en su obra que esboza en el estilo artístico del cineasta. No, I don't, I don't think it's my, it's my work to, 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 to say that if there's something special, if there's a special line in my work. I'm just trying to, uh, to be the most, the, more, the most honest to myself and to my characters. And uh, I think the main thing to me is, is to, be, uh, to be in love and to fall in love with my characters. And once I'm falling in love with my characters, I have to fall in love with my actors. Un tipo de gramófono emocional armoniza el especial encuentro. La música de la cinta corre a cargo del grupo M83, banda de Anthony González, hermano del director, quienes compartiendo las mismas influencias artísticas desde pequeños, logran un match de imágenes y sonido casi perfecto.
I think we were traumatized as kids by, by the same uh, images. You know, there was, there was like some uh, Japanese cartoons that were showing on TV at that time uh, in the 80s when we were kids. And uh, like uh, uh, Captain Harlock, this kind of, uh, of cartoons. And everything was so sad, everything was so melancholic that we were hit by, by, by that. And to, it made us such a strong impression that uh, we, 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 I think we were marked uh, to death with, with this uh, melancholy and you know, this uh, sad music in the, these cartoons. And uh, we want to re reproduce, in a way, this, uh, this melancholy we, we, we witnessed as, as kids. Speed, poppers, cocaine, MDMA, quelque chose à voir? 